Hey guys, BJ the Brave here, and I am bringing you my Swarm Lord deck guide today. Now, uh, for those of you who've been following the channel a while, you probably know that I ran a quite a large masterclass session where I went through with Chumatsu, who's considered one of the best Tyranid players, and we learned a lot about Swarm Lord. Now, that was before the January patch, so obviously I wanted to dive in. Now that Gasgol's been nerfed, and that was such a bad matchup for Swarm Lord, I really wanted to see kind of like how Swarm Lord plays in this new meta and honestly guys I really think Swarm Lord's tier 1 now um, in addition to Gasgol being nerfed obviously they, they gained the Gene Stealer which you know adds new dimensions to the deck but largely it's just the deck is largely as it was and um, here's the deck that I've been running so the main win conditions in this deck as per usual are we've got the best bodies really we can build the best bodies per per point of energy so we can basically control the board in a kind of trade war if we kind of draw correctly and we mulligan correctly etc we want to mainly be mulliganing for for bodies so we're looking for units you know we might hold an adrenal surge if we need to have some like decent removal early turn don't forget the swarm lord of course does come with three melee attacks it's pretty good it's better than most warlords at trading early game uh, but you can hold that we do run the single copy of Bounding Leap. That can help with enemy stealths. It can help with, um, you know, obviously things like the uh, the scarabs, the orcs, etc., etc. So it's still still really handy. The thing with Bounding Leap is, of course, if you play that on a Synapse creature, you've got three units getting blast two. If you play it on Broodlord, you've got three you've got three units getting plus f uh, getting blast four, should I say? Which is because because obviously Broodlord players triggers Synapse twice, so. Uh, that's still still a really good tech card, I think. I've come to learn that Enhanced Organism is is just essential. It's just essential. Um, it's a friendly unit. It's not heal, it's give plus three health. That means it can benefit your Warlord. You know, you play that on Broodlord, that's plus six. It's just a very, very good way of ensuring that your units basically can't be removed by by much other than kind of hard removal. Um, so yeah, as I said, the win cons is just like build that board. Um, and often you can win just with that. The other thing you can do, of course, is play it the Ravenous Hunter. And honestly, the, guys, this card is so broken, it's unbelievable. It's It's got to get nerfed at some point. But even just with the Broodlord and next to your Warlord, uh, that gives you insane amounts of power because uh, Synapse triggers that twice, so that's the plus one melee attack that puts this guy up to eight. He's doing 16 damage alone. Uh, your Warlord all, all of a sudden is doing 10 damage. That's 26 damage just from two units. Uh, anything more than that, and it's just insane. Uh, I am running the Tyranny Prime actually. Uh, I can't remember when I exactly opened this, but it was one of my more recent cards. It was the last legendary I think I opened, so I, I do run that now. Uh, the Neuro Beast, obviously, you've got to kind of decide when it's okay to just play it as one of them, just to have a Synapse unit. When it's okay to play two separate and use uh, Swarm Lord's Hive Commander ability, giving them all, giving two of them plus one to all the stats, which is really good. And when to obviously bubble, swarm them up, essentially, into a big one. Uh, still got the old Khan effects in there, obviously looking to make use of... Our, um, our stratagem, if we're, if we're going second and playing this out on turn three, still a really good move. We only run one hunger now. I think now that we're out of the Gazgul kind of grot meta, um, by the way, Gazgul, I still think it's tier one, but um, it's not kind of quite the grot horde that we were seeing before. So I think actually one rapacious hunger is fine for now. Just a bit clunky when you've got two of them. Um, so yeah, so the curve is very similar. Uh, a lot of big, powerful mid-range bodies in there, and um, the wing cons are control the board, take over the board, build a steady board, or ravenous hunter. Um, so yeah, as we said, the main strengths of this board uh, of this deck is that we've got good removal with Swarm Lord having the three damage. That we've got really powerful, really beefy units. Like I said, probably the best pound for pound units you can get per point of energy. And you've got a lot of flexibility with Synapse, you know, being able to really cheat out the value of the stratagems by get, giving it essentially to three units through Synapse. They're the real strengths 
of the deck and you've obviously got some nice stealth units in there like you've got the gene stealers and brood lord and you've obviously got the two in circles of prey so uh, you've got you know one of the best keywords is stealth at the minute and um, swarm lord has that in, in abundance um, the weaknesses are definitely hard removal and therefore and because of that orcs still remain like the 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 counter to tyranids and so the only thing really holding this deck back is the fact that I think orcs are still tier one uh, Grook's back in the meta now and Grook tends to go down either a hyper aggro route or it goes down more of a control route which is bad news for the tyranids because that's more hard removal so you've got to play a little bit more carefully against orcs particularly once you hit that turn seven and uh, you know not over committing the board always thinking what happens if you will have gorks me next and trying to make that kind of as favorable as you can for, for yourself so uh, in terms of the stats and the matchups with this deck now let me just check what we actually uh, I'm going to show you on here if you just give us a second yeah here we go so what we actually achieved was uh, okay yeah so we actually achieved a 70% win rate with this deck so you can see in the 20 games against human players on ladder the Gazgul match was still the worst. We lost both games that we played against Gazgul. Um, but you can actually see outside of the Gazgul matchup, we were positive win rate against everything. Oh, we actually lost the one game to Kalgar. And then everybody else we had a positive win rate against. So this is what I mean by it being a really, really good deck right now in the meta. I do think Orcs are still obviously that counter to it. But it's a very, very, very powerful deck. Um, there's quite a lot what's also pretty good and quite a lot of fun with Tyranids which I think is not something I can say for Chaos for example is in terms of deck replacement there's quite a lot of cards you can play so let's say you don't have the Prime yet or you don't have some of these legendaries you can put Tyranid Warriors in which are three energy everybody gets them as basic and the deck would work just as well and I think that's one of the real strengths and one of the fun things about this deck is that you can play uh, you know those those swap cards i definitely advise you to go back and watch the master class with shimatsu because even though the um we've had a patch a lot of the strategies a lot of the things that you talked and coached me on there still absolutely apply so there was a ton of tips and like strategies in there and lots of talk about different cards um i tried the death leaper in here for example but i just found my curve was a little bit unbalanced there's lots and lots of ways you can do it but the general principles that we've covered are what um, what you kind of need to know so uh, yeah so that's everything so what we're going to do is just like jump into some games now and please like and subscribe to the channel and enjoy the matches and let me know in the comments if you see any kind of like better plays misplays any of that sort of stuff and I'll see you in the next one guys okay swam lord god damn it Play, we play orc, we play tyranids and we get orcs. <laughs> um, have we got any any spells at target? I don't think we have, have we? Let's get some action, boys. <laughs> the question is, do we think this is the? Aggro or the control? If it's a control version, we should keep hitting him, right? So looking at that hand, obviously we're going to draw more things, but that would be like Prime into Guard into Crone, and then we can actually play Zone Threat with buffs.
Squeak Boogie. Probably going to use his range attack, so our um, crone actually trades nice with that. The question is, do we just take the damage with the Swarm Lord and play like maybe play the Brood Lord or something? Might be better. No, because of no mucking about. And that was the best timed Ravenous Hunter of my life. Ravenous Hunger of my life.
I guess this is just no mocking about, isn't it, for him? Truck boys. What a game, boys! What a game! That was crazy. Feels good getting into the light game with the Tyranids. Yeah, the, the heal spell's vital, isn't it? Really, really important. And we're playing Uriel Agro. Now, is this the deck we've just published? If it is, we don't want to attack. He's the beat down. That is quite unlucky. Sure is, Magrida. This is a great play against to, against Swarm Lord, by the way, to pull this guy out the way he used it. It's excellent.
Have we stabilized? So we're going to play um, Enhanced Organism here, try and get some health back. <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> Beat my own URL deck with the Tyranids. Come on! Let's keep it rolling. Okay, so we're going second. Nice. Should have um, mulliganed away the guard and the stealth. From the eye of terror, we shall bring no mercy. So next up I think we got digestion pull into death and then into prime. Or we could do it into the guard. Guard would have been better in terms of like, then you can develop the prime and you've kind of got protected board. The thing is, if he develops a unit now, we attack face and then hopefully we stun the unit, right? It's like a 50 50. Okay, this enables him to clear.
Maybe we should have gone for stealth there, I'm not sure. You can obviously kill this now, but we would take five damage. Well, he's got it with the murderous desires and the vengeance. Nice combo. You draw a card, get a dark pack to fate. Kaboom! GG Abaddon! Anvia! Okay, nice! Oh! Try, drawn into the Hunter. This time we've got the, the Gestion Pool as well, so... Hmm... Okay, this is where the three melee comes in hand. Handy. Got another one. See how this gene stealer madness starts to work for us then, huh? Oh, don't press enter. I mean, does he use Eldritch Storm? Let's get rid of it now. Kind of interesting. Not sure about that one, to be honest. So we can play. out here. By the prime. Um, and then... Uh, 
And then, well, I mean, <laughs> okay. Not sure about that. I'm not quite sure what the best use of the digestion pool is here. Actually, use it here and just heal. Well, I can't. I, w I should have played it first, right? If I wanted to do that, it's only the troop that gets the discount. I think what we're going to do is bring out the Brood Lord here. Or do we bring out the Zone Front? I think we're going to bring out the Brood Lord. And we're just going to. I think I'm going to hit him because of the. the Eldritch Storm, like, we just lose all that value if he storms now. I think we got lethal next turn anyway, right? Nice. Yeah, big time lethal. Well played. Gee. 